Hi guys, so I'm now on my fourth kill team, which is pretty awesome. And obviously this one is the Pathfinders. And this box set was sent to me by a great guy called Adam over at Speedy Trading. They've been selling miniatures over on eBay for the past two years and have just set up a website. And this is it, uh, launched at the beginning of this month. And as you can see, a whole variety of things you can buy. So go check them out guys, there's always a link in the description. As you can see, they sell new sets as well as figures already pre-made and painted. And they also buy stuff as well, which is pretty awesome. So this kill team's actually going to be my son's set. Um, he's going to get into this game with me. And about a week ago, we were looking through all the kind of kill teams you can get. Um, as I wanted him to have a kill team that, well, he chose. And this is them. So I'd never seen these before. Um, and a few pictures I had seen in the past, I always thought they were robots. Uh, but obviously they're not. They're, uh, they're blue dudes. So as this is going to be my sunset, and me and him are going to play the game, but the rules are going to be a little bit loosey-goosey. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm actually making all these figures up uh, to what looks good. So yeah, before you guys start complaining and moaning that there are bits and pieces that I've not attached to them, uh, like their weird, funny ear, um, I don't know, little antennas, radios, or whatever. Um, I think there's a few scopes on guns I've not attached. And any other little bits I've not attached... The reason being, I say, me and my son are going to play this game, uh, but we're going to use a bit more simplified rules when it comes to each other's teams. So that being the case, obviously I don't need to look at the instructions. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut out all the bits. So I'm going to cut out 10 bodies, 10 legs, 10 arms, uh, 10 heads. So then it's going to kind of be like I'm batch building. Um, so yes, I've got all the bits in sections, as you can see. So all the heads, bodies and all that together. And then what I'm going to do is obviously, well, go around and attach all the bits. So I say, I'm, I'm building these in a sort of a fun way for him to play. So yeah, no roasting me in the comments, guys, um, as I appreciate these aren't built. Um, well, not the way they should be, I guess. <laughs> but I say, this game for me, and obviously when my son plays, is all about fun. And well, just the two of us playing a game together, which is pretty cool. So obviously, yeah, taking time in to clean these up. Um... There's no real bad sort of mould lines on these, just a few little bits that need scraping off where they're attached to the sprues, basically. And then good old cement glue. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going around obviously doing all these, all the torsos at once. Because um, this way, once I get round all the torsos, they'll be fully dried. And then I can start attaching arms and guns and obviously their heads. So I want to say a big thank you again to Adam at Speedy Trading for sending me this box of Pathfinders for free. Uh, much appreciated. So guys, there's a link down in the description. Go check them out. As well as thanking all my patrons, as well as my sponsors for helping fund this channel and making it possible for me to, uh, well, buy glue and bits and pieces that I need to keep making these videos. So yeah, cheers guys. So I must admit, building these figures how I wanted and obviously not having a look at the instructions or more importantly, try and locate each piece on the sprue. As we all know, that can be, uh, that can be fun trying to find pieces that should be next to each other but aren't. Um, yeah, it was so nice, so easy uh, and very enjoyable. Uh, but obviously you can't do this all the time because you, you do need to make these kill teams, well, look like how they should look. Um, but say, me and my son, we're just going to have a bit of fun with this game. So I think basically we're going to have obviously one sort of leader or captain. Um, I think we're both going to have a sniper, um, a rocket launcher, and then it'll be sort of like seven just normal... Uh, normal troops, guards, army men, whatever you want to call them. Um, so again, that's why I wasn't too fussed on uh, making this team look, uh, well, how it should do for a proper sort of kill team uh, when you play in a league or whatever. So yeah, that's them all done. Obviously, uh, loads of bits left over, which is pretty cool. Still with them uh, the recon droids. Uh, I will do them eventually, but for the moment, it was the uh, the team I wanted to get ready. Uh, yeah, just so me and my son can, uh, can have a little game which should be, uh, be quite funny. So they're all now on the cork. Obviously, this is my usual way of holding figures, especially when batch painting. Uh, I find this the best way to do it because obviously the corks don't cost much and obviously I can have 10 of them. So yeah, I am doing the good old slap chop method here. Um, obviously, prime in black and then I normally dry brush in grey. But as you can see, I thought I'd have a little mix it up and I'm dry brushing in this, well, kind of sand sort of colour. Um, the reason for this is basically just trying to experiment um, and see what kind of results you get with different sort of uh, base coats. So yeah, so obviously prime, um, dry brushing 
in this sand color. Uh, I will still go over and dry brush again with white. Um, it's normally a, a lot softer, the dry brush with white, just so that it really does catch all the highlights and the edges, basically. If you are a bit of a noob painter like me, this is definitely the, uh, the way to go, guys. Um, just because it is, it's so quick, it's so easy. And say so when you're batch painting, you can get a team done like this in around about two, three hours, uh, which is pretty awesome. So rather than having loads of figures sitting around and then you're worrying about painting them, because uh, you know it's gonna take a long time and you're not necessarily gonna be happy with the results, do this slap chop method or underbrushing method, um, just because it really is so simple, so quick. And yeah, get those, those minis painted, guys. Get them painted, get them on the table, and more importantly, be happy with them and play with them. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you've tried this method, um, what kind of results you've got. And yeah, if, if you're happy with doing this um, like I am. I say this is now my go-to method. Uh, well, until I find something else online that I kind of prefer and, well, is easier. I say, because this, this really is the easiest sort of painting you can do. So yeah, obviously they'll use speed paints uh, or contrast paints. And soon I'm going to be using some paints from Green Stuff. Um, they're called dipping paints which are exactly the same as contrast and the speed paints. Uh, one big exception, you, uh, you get a bottle that's about twice the size of these ones and doesn't cost any more. So yeah, in regards to painting these, there's not obviously too many colours involved in these guys. Uh, again, I asked my son what colour he wanted um, and he chose orange, which is pretty cool because, well, just, that just happens to be my favourite colour. Although I know he does normally like uh, greens and blues. Um, but we were looking at pictures online and we saw a few that were sort of like orange and black and yeah he liked the look of those so that's uh, that's what we're going to do so these are going to be his his figures um i did do a live stream of me painting this and someone did mention why not let my son paint them um yeah two reasons for not not doing that one i don't know if my ocd could cope with it not that i've got ocd but uh, something similar um and two i could see him painting one uh and then getting bored and then not wanting to paint the rest. So I would have to, have to end up painting them all and repainting whichever one he had painted. Uh, so yeah, so that, that's why I'm painting them. Uh, but yeah, keeping them nice and simple, say the colours that he wanted, because uh, this is, yeah, this is his team. So yeah, I love the fact these guys are blue. Definitely make them look uh, more alien. Uh, but say, I originally thought uh, Pathfinders or Tau were, were robots. I, uh, yeah, I didn't realise they were obviously people wearing masks so uh, yeah so say honestly I, there's, there's so many teams that I don't know what they look like what they do uh, which is why I'm really excited to play obviously kill team just because you can get armies uh, relatively quickly and you can have so many armies so I've now got four fully painted kill teams uh, which is pretty good going um, I've only been playing the game for what about four weeks uh, I'm gonna be getting the into the dark box sets uh, any day now and again obviously that's gonna have two more kill teams uh, which I will be painting as soon as I receive that so yeah I, I really have gone kill team mad yeah guys let me know in the comments uh, which kill team well you reckon I should get next because I I probably am going to eventually get all of them uh, but obviously I can only get so many sort of each month uh, but yeah let me know guys which um, which one do you think I should get next and I think the one that gets mentioned the most um, yeah well that'll be the one I'll, uh, I'll go out and buy well, unless someone wants to donate one to me. I know it's cheeky, but it, you, you never know. It's always worth asking. So there we go. Batch painting with speed paints uh, really is that quick. Um, yeah, I was doing this as a live stream. So whenever I live stream, obviously, I kind of go slower than normal because I'm well doing a lot of waffling. Um, but yeah, I reckon this sort of kill team, doing it this way, yeah, two, three hours, you'd have a full sort of set of ten completed, uh, which is pretty cool. Obviously, these are sort of painted to a fairly sort of basic standard. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could spend more time going over them, um, extra in, adding in some extra highlights and other sort of bits and pieces. Uh, but to be honest, I'm happy with that, how these come out. And yeah, I'll happily play these uh, with my son uh, or even use these to play with, with other people. So yeah, so it's all about getting things painted to a standard you like, um, enjoying them and yeah getting them in that kill zone for uh, well for a good old game 
So yeah, these pop off nice and easy. Uh, obviously, I only use a little bit of glue to glue their feet to the base. Uh, so they come off nice and easy. There's a little bit, obviously, underneath. Uh, but that's fine. So what I do is I go through, cut them all off. Um, I say, I've never had any break doing this way. So yeah, it's a good way of, of doing, obviously, a nice sort of batch of, well, in this case, 10. And then before I glue them to the, uh, the bases, obviously, let's get some fine sandpaper. Um, yeah, and then just lightly rub their feet over it just to remove any excess. Um, and this obviously purely is so they've got a nice flat base. Um, yeah, when I do glue them to their bases. So yeah, as you'll have seen in obviously all my videos, um, I do like to use clear bases uh, just because then you can see whatever sort of terrain they're actually on. Okay, guys, there we go. So that's sort of one full set of kill team um, done nice and quick to, yeah, I reckon a good standard. And yeah, my son will be happy to play these. And well, let's see who wins, him or me. Okay, let's see some glamour shots. So I'm really pleased with how these have come out. Obviously, uh, very simple in their colours. Um, but again, I, I love orange. So yeah, the orange and black, I really like. Um, these are, say, very strange looking little people. Um, and yeah, by little, they are quite small in comparison to, well, to I think just general troops. Um, I didn't realise just how small they were until I went and got one of my intercessors. And yeah, they are this small. So they really are like, uh, well, like little halflings. Um, yeah, very miniature. Uh, but also from what I have read and seen, uh, their shooting skills are, yeah, just immense. Um, and played correctly, these do seem to be one of the, uh, the top sort of teams out there. Um, obviously, there's quite a few others, uh, but these are obviously pretty good, even though they are very diddy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Um, let me know what you want to see me make next, or if you want to see a different kill team, or even just say hi. Just put hi in the comments, guys. Obviously, it helps out with uh, YouTube and its weird analytics, um, and obviously helps promote my channel. Yeah, guys, subscribe, like, comment, eat cookies, all that good stuff. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.